Hi, I'm Molly, the lab manager here at Grady Veterinary Hospital. Today we're here to discuss FELV and FIV infection in your cats. Hopefully to come away with the understanding of how best to protect your beloved pet from these infectious viruses. FELV infection is one of the most important viruses known to cats. It causes, it's the leading cause of death and disease in cats. FELV cats usually have a higher incident for diseases such as gastrointestinal problems, anemia, and yes, even cancer. FELV is transmitted through prolonged social contact between cats. Cats that share the same food dish, that share the same water dish, that share the same litter box, that mutually groom each other. If one of those cats is FELV positive, chances are very high that the other cat will become infected with the virus. FIV is another transmissible virus in cats. It is known as feline immunodeficiency virus. The same thing that people get in HIV, but it's specific to the cat family known as feline or FIV. FIV is not as prevalent as FELV in the world, but it does create long-standing health complications because it suppresses the ability of your cat to fight off normal infection. The good thing about these diseases is that your cat will not necessarily die. Your cat can live a long, healthy life if known positive to FELV and FIV infection. The number one thing is to test your cat. A simple blood test in a tube this small, a sample of blood of your cat, run on a device known as a SNAP combo test made by IDEX which is the gold standard for in-clinic testing for FELV and FIV infection in cats. This device is sensitive enough to tell the veterinarian whether or not your cat is FELV positive or FIV positive. What do you do? You test your cat. You test all kittens. Under the age of six months, they should have one test performed to determine their status of FELV, FIV. That kitten should also have another blood test performed after the age of six months when things such as maternal antibodies are no longer circulating in the kitten, just like with your child. They are protected for so long from the mother, after that, they can convert. At that point, it's, it would be important to know the status of the kitten after six months of age also. All adult cats, should be tested. This is an extremely infectious virus that runs rampant through stray cats. By knowing the status of your cat, you can help protect other cats, or you can help prevent the transmission of this virus to any cat you choose to bring into your household. Never bring another kitten or cat into your household with an established FELV, FIV negative cat, unless you have the cat tested first. Another time that it's important to test your cat for exposure to these viruses is after it had got out. It had been out, it had been in a cat fight. If your cat gets in the fight with another cat, remember, bring your cat in to see your veterinarian. Have it tested for its combo status at that point, And then retest your cat in 10 weeks because not all cats will convert as soon as bitten from an infected cat. So what do we do to prevent transmission of these viruses to your cat? We do not let them get exposed. If you can keep it indoors, keep it indoors. Lack of exposure is the best way to prevent your cat from getting this disease. We vaccinate our cats. FELV vaccination does help prevent the disease, but no vaccine is 100% guaranteed. Also remember that these are feline, cat-specific diseases. No one in your family can catch these diseases. 
and no, and your dog can't either. So as a responsible pet owner, what can you do? We keep our cat healthy. We keep our cat from exposure. We keep our cat vaccinated. And hopefully this will help you and your cat to live a long, happy life together.